again. What's going on, guys? Back and biceps. We'll get this started real quick. Um, Omar's already set up and ready to go. So we're going to get this done, and then we'll be back with a little bit of comments, post comments. So see you guys in a little bit. Once you go back, and I can justify spending money on that shit. What's going on guys? We just finished with the workout. Great workout today. <laughs> one, one thing I will mention is that um, I'm finally feeling the effects of my body unloading off the creatine. Um, weight that was moderately good or, or even a little hard back then is now becoming nearly impossible to do with correct technique. Um, I found myself kind of dropping down on a couple of um, exercises dropping down the weight five pounds or so but yeah that's 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 the name of the game you know the creatine is going to give you that <clears throat> that strength that initial explosiveness too um in the beginning and it's going to give you that endurance where you're just going to be able to do a couple more reps and and maybe even find weight easier than others and and it's definitely i'm feeling that today and then it's a little sad a little teardrop kind of going down my eyes i'm sitting down and i'm like oh I remember when I was able to do that weight so easily. Now I'm struggling to keep good form while completing the sets. Um, what else do I have to, to you guys about? We did ab ripper X right after the uh, back and biceps. If you are exhausted from back and biceps, take a minute, take 10 minutes to just chill. Get your uh, composure back, get your energy back. Try to get pumped up for the next workout. It helps a lot if you have a recovery drink with you um even take it after your back and biceps and then you know do your ab workout right after um that's going to help you a little bit with the recovery it's going to help you give you a little bit more energy too because of the simple sugars in the recovery drink um but that's tips of the day guys ab, ab ripper x i was telling omar that ab ripper x is one of those that i don't feel you ever master it because it's a hell of a workout every single time you do it um that thing kicks your ass every time if you're doing it correctly um, and my, I modify certain things so that I get a better burn. Um, a lot of things have to do with your chin and, and the way it, you position it. Um, and I think I've talked about that in the past. Uh, modifying those things actually gives you way more of a burn. And, and it targets a lot of the upper abs a lot. It's a little bit more of an intense... I can't even think right now. It's so late in the day. Um, it's a little bit more of an intense... Uh, focus on the upper abs and so it does it doesn't take away from the others but it actually just gives you a little bit more of a push or having it makes your upper abs work a little harder um, what else we got so that's about it for the day guys you know excited about being nearly complete with completed with week two of phase three we're getting down there we're getting down to the point where we're finishing up um, you know, Omar was asking me a couple questions about his diet, and we're now getting to the point where we're going to have to tighten up his diet a little bit more. He's at that point where he's got a little bit of body fat, so um, for those of you guys who don't know, if you're looking to cut that little last bit of weight, um, you're having a hard time with that, let me know. Those last couple pounds are almost as difficult as cutting the initial X, fill in the blank for your, your weight that you've lost. 
the last couple of pounds, there's a little couple of tricks you have to do to kind of lose that last couple of pounds, but um, in my opinion. So anyways, we got to tighten that up, but um, besides that, guys, I'm feeling good. Um, the carbs keep my energy levels really high, which is awesome, and I'm looking forward to just kind of finishing this round up. Um, the more I think about it, I'm thinking for my sanity's sake, since I'm going to go ahead and just pop into a P90X2 round, I might even take a day or two to let my body just kind of relax before throwing it into P90X2. But since I'm going to be going into P90X2, I kind of want to keep my energy levels higher. And so I might even keep this bulk going through P90X2. So doing more of an energizer or um, energy maximizer um, diet through P90X2 as well as I'm kind of doing now. So um, plus I like the idea of having a full, a real bulk, like a good lengthy bulk versus doing a three month bulk. Well, where you're going to gain some muscle, but you're not going to gain a lot of muscle. As I mentioned in the last video, you're not going to gain 30 pounds of muscle in three, in three months in, in one round of P90X. You're going to get cut. You're going to gain some muscle mass, especially if you haven't been lifting for a very long time. Those initial months, those initial year or two that you start lifting, you're going to notice that you're going to gain, um, muscle mass kind of quickly because your body's not used to it. Your, your body goes into the shock and, and you ramp it up into that building muscle phase and it ramps up rather quickly. For those of people that have been doing it for a very long time, the gains are actually slower. But anyways, it's another topic. Um, long story short, I might even keep this, this uh, diet throughout P90X2. And so we'll see what that's like for me um, during that time. So uh, it's still more to think about, a little bit more things to tweak, but um, I'll, uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more as that gets closer. But uh, that's it for today, guys. That was Back and Biceps today. If you guys have questions, comments, need help, uh, or need anything, let me know. And um, that's it, guys. So enjoy your day. Have a good night. And um, that's it. Peace out.